Hi, in this package chaser, we will determine the DR and BDR on the OSPF uh, uh, routing domain on uh, the multi asset network uh, topology. Uh, on part one, we will examine the DR and BDR changing roles, and on part two, we will modify OSPF priority and force election. And firstly, we will examine the DR and BDR changing role. And on each router, we will use the command show IP OSPF neighbor. For example, here's the router A. Router A. And after uh, entering the command, we can see on router A, we get the DR. Uh, is the, uh, this is the IP address of the DR. So the DR uh, is uh, uh, router C. And the BDR is uh, this IP. The IP. So the BDR is uh, router B. And now we will turn on IP OSPF agency debugging uh, on uh, router A. IP uh, debug debug IP OSPF OSPF agency. And on router B, and now we disable the gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero interface on router C, uh, because now the router C is a uh, DR, so the router B should be the BDR uh, should be the uh, DR after the uh, router C is failed. So I will disable the link the gigabit zero slash zero interface shutdown. And now we will see the changing role on router A and router B we should wait about 30 seconds for the dead timers to expire on router A and router B now on router A first we will get the message see here the elect the DR the DR now is uh, I this is the IP of the DR, so the DR should be the router B, and before router B is a BDR, and on router A, and the elect the DR router B, and the BDR is a router A. Okay. Now I restore the. Uh, this interface on router C, no shutdown. And we will wait for the election occurs. Now on router A, you see the router A send the elect uh, DR is still the router B and the BDR is still router A router C although is up but router C uh, role is now DR other because the uh, router C has not been configured preempt you can check on router B do show, sorry, show IP OSPF neighbor, and you see this IP of router C 
and uh, this is uh, the other now I turn off the debug mode on router A and router B no debug oh, sorry IP or SPF ADG Now I uh, on part two I will modify the priority uh, of the OSPF routing process and force election. Firstly, I will configure OS priorities on each router, uh, router A two hundred, router B one hundred, and router C is one. And uh, this is the default priority. So on uh, router A, I will configure interface. Zero zero and IP OSPF priority two hundred and do the same on router B and router C. So after uh, reconfigure the priority on each uh, OSPF interface, uh, now we will force uh, an election by resetting the IP the OSPF process by using the command clear IP OSPF process on its router. For example, on router A, I use the command clear IPF process. Reset, yes. And do the same on router B and router C. So after uh, resetting the IPOS process on uh, each router, I will uh, verify the DN BDR connection election by using the command show IP OSPF uh, neighbor. And you see the now the router A is a DR and Router C is a BR other because the router A has the highest priority and router B, uh, router C has lowest priority. So the router A is a DR and router B is a BDR and router C is a BR other. That is all for the activity guide. Thanks for watching.